Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Art of Stays Coming. It's great to be here as always. Thank you for tuning in. We're talking about the new high tier monster for all the corn factions, the Slaughter Brute. And it is a brute. It is literally in the name. Here's a quick look at the stats. And this is a large monster similar to the Mutalist Vortex Beast, which we will be putting it up against later in the video. So stick tuned for that. Uh, but it has a few things that I'd like to focus on. This is obviously a large monster, so it's going to suffer from mass anti-large infantry problems as well as missiles although it does have 25 percent missile resistance and it comes with all the things that you expect with a big monster like terror and siege attacker and stuff like that but it also has this this is by default a rampage monster but if your lord is in good shape as in he is on the battlefield not dead and not routed or routing then this monster is under control. Unbreakable and does not rampage as long as your Lord is around. It doesn't have to be in any vicinity or anything like that. It just has to be on the battlefield. Anyway, let's go ahead and put it up against some anti-large infantry and see how it does. So what I've got here is uh, just a Lord hero and they're, they're there to mess with the enemy Lord. And then we just want to see how many of these empire halberdiers this thing can kill before they take it down. And as you would expect, uh, did not do great against mass amounts of anti-large infantry just because there's so much surface area on this monster to be able to be attacked from multiple angles. Let's put it up against some standard infantry and see what happens this time around. And it did considerably better this time around with the non-anti-large uh, infantry, uh, but they were still able to take it down. We probably would have been able to win this battle if we were able to buff the thing or use any abilities whatsoever or any support for the monster, uh, but it did almost take out 10 blocks of infantry by itself. Let's put it up against a standard Empire Lord and just see what it's capable of doing against a Lord. Is it decent? Because it does have some pretty decent weapon strength, uh, considering that it is not uh, a character. And of course it was handedly able to take down the empire captain that was pretty much expected let's go ahead and throw it up against a mutilous vortex beast and see what happens Chaos! Mage! 
The first time I threw it up against the Mutalus Vortex Beast, it actually lost, and it lost quite handedly, I might say. So I went ahead and ran it again. Now it appears as though it's going to lose to the Mutalist Vortex Beast a second time, but due to leadership, it actually pulls out a victory. But I would say that if these two were going to fight to the death, that the Mutalist Vortex Beast probably would have won. So as far as the combat capabilities of the Slaughter Brute is concerned, I would put it somewhere between the power of a standard generic Lord and a legendary lord. It is a very powerful monster that is going to need a little bit of support. And let me know in the comment section down below if you are looking forward to stacking a couple of these in your armies to go on a rampage with corn.